Good morning. My name is Sean Villanueva, and I'm currently one of the application engineers here at Schmerzel USA. Today we'll be discussing our SLC 425i safety light curtains, which feature integrated muting. The SLC 425i is ideal for multiple machine guarding applications. Today, our video will be broken down into two segments. The first will highlight all of the various features of the SLC 425i, as well as all of the products that you see here in front of me. The second segment will be a live product demonstration, which will show our SLC 425i in action in a simulated manufacturing environment. In order to gain a better understanding of our SLC 425i light curtains, it is best that we gain a better understanding of the products and capabilities that are associated with it. The first of these products is known as the LF-50-11P. This is a muting sensor. If you notice, it has a quick disconnect option as well as bright visual LED displays on top. If you also take a notice here, it is fully movable so it can be mounted in a variety of positions. If we look directly across from it, we notice a white mirror. This is known as the R51. This simply bounces the signal back, which is emitted from the muting sensor. The muting sensor is also capable of receiving that signal, and it can then communicate it with the light curtain via the quick disconnect cables. If we take a look here at our light curtain, we notice that there are three quick disconnects on top. If you look directly underneath, there are also bright visual LED displays. That solid light indicates that the light curtains are not faulted. The top light, which periodically blinks, indicates that the muting sensors are fully functional and are relaying information properly. Another interesting feature about our light curtains is this. This is a cross section of the actual body. If you notice, this is a solid seamless extrusion with reinforced housing that is machine cut, which offers superior strength. This also offers IP67 compliancy. If we take a look just to the right of our light curtain, we notice that there is a lamp up here. This lamp also serves as a visual indicator to the operator that the system is running or is at fault. We will see how this works in the next segment of our video. Last, but certainly not least, is our master control room. What this does is simulates a safety PLC or the safety circuit in a manufacturing environment. It is simply relaying information to an operator indicating that the system is functional and all systems are ready to go. Now that we have a better understanding of the many capabilities as well as the products that are associated with the SLC 425i, let's take a further look into how it actually runs by illustrating through a product demonstration. If you notice, simple cardboard box, this area where my hand is waving will represent the hazardous area on a conveyor belt system. This is where all the potential hazards are. Over here, on the far side of the screen, where my other hand is waving, that will indicate the safe zone. This is where the no hazardous conditions exist. It is okay for operators to be. Simply, I'm gonna take the cardboard box and start passing it through. I am passing sensor one, sensor two. Notice the lamp comes on to indicate that there's activity on the conveyor belt. I am now breaking the light curtain breaking sensor 3 and sensor 4. Notice that it's a solid light, so indicate that there is no fault in the system. So I'm now finished passing. The light came off. All the lights are still green, as well over here in the mas our simulated master control room. This LED is still green as well. So now, to illustrate one last feature, I'm going to talk about the double reset that is built into the SLC 425i. In order to do that first, First, I'm going to have to fault the system. So I'm going to take the cardboard box and pass it from the safe zone back into the hazardous zone. So as soon as I do that, you notice the LED starts blinking up top on the lamp. This indicates that there is a fault. If you also notice over here, the red LED is now on, indicating to the operator that there is an unsafe condition and it needs to be cleared. So 
in order to do so, you can do what is called a double reset. What you do is you press the reset button once and then hold it down the second time. You notice that the LED turns green and you can now clear the fault. As soon as it is cleared, the LED turns red again to indicate that there was a fault and this allows time for the operator to see if that fault can occur again. Now I will issue the master reset. LED turns green again. These LEDs over here are green as well. Just to indicate that the system is functional, I will pass our cardboard box through one more time from the hazardous zone into the safe zone. If you notice, there is no fault in our master control simulation or on our SLC-425i. Now that we've had an opportunity to discuss the features and products that are currently available with our SLC-425i in Lankert, we'd like to provide just a very quick recap. It features integrated muting, which eliminates the need for a separate muting controller. It features an integrated double reset. It is IP67 compliant, features quick disconnect cables, and can achieve performance level E or category four safety function. For any further additional information on any products from Schmerzel, feel free to contact any other engineers here at Schmerzel USA. Thank you.